So, I always do this before you go out and get your money out for tomorrow. The biggest release of tomorrow is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, right? That's the news everybody's been asking me. They want to review, they want to know what I think. What I think of a good old classic. Sorry, I don't have my cover back in the days I lost it. I was younger than today. But you get all these three games. The best part of the franchise, whatever came out after was, we had games on Xbox, we had games, uh, there was different ports. And yes, the character was sold. And Activision ended up in, uh, getting it in the end. But honestly, you get all three games in one game. If you go just price-wise, which is a, an advantage to buying the Insane Trilogy, you get a way cheaper price of if you go out and buy each disc originally if you want to play on the PlayStation. And also, may I add, it is quite a nice touch, very quite fresh. You could actually see the hair off of Crash's face and everything, the graphics and the revamped version is very beautiful. Uh, the cutscenes are all remade. You got a lot of new bonus hidden, a lot of bonus hidden levels, a lot of new stuff. They added a little bit more content, but graphically it just looks very, very, very gorgeous. It's a selling point for me. The fact that they revamped, if you go back and you play this, it looks okay, but that's, Crash looks and the stage are a little bit the forms, those turtles, they look really bad back in the days. But a new and revamped version is quite exquisite. They did, Vicarious Vision did an awesome job of revamping the best part of the franchise. All three games. If you go out, like I said, buy each, you probably end up, probably they're 40, maybe 30. I gotta check on eBay each for 50 bucks. Canadian, again, it's probably 30 US. Uh, Insane Trilogy for 30 bucks is quite the deal. The one thing I want to point out that the Vicarious Vision did an awesome job playing uh, all these years later. I was 16 years old when this franchise came out. It's about where I'm 37 now. It's, it's pretty much 15 years later. It's still got the good old rage pumping Rage quit on some levels because the gameplay was kind of hard and still challenging to this day. The thing I want to point out, the best they did, Vicarious Vision. Wow, what a transition of revamping a game but keeping the original controls as we played it back in the days. Back in 1996, we didn't have any analog sticks and it was one of the first 3D games on my PlayStation. Now what they did... When you're playing, the thing I like the most, when you're playing the revamp, all brand new made from Vicarious Vision and Activision, what they did is they, they transported that authentic control from the old game. They, they, they recopied the whole thing so perfectly. The controls are exactly back like in 1996. If you, for me, I don't know about you, but if you play with the analog stick and you try to finish the game, it's really hard. The D-pad, back in the days, that's all we had for a 3D world, is still plays best. So the transition of the controls are just perfect. Perfect, perfect. Go and you rock the D-pad. You play with the D-pad. Try it. Try it. Back in 1996, that's all we had to play this 3D platformer. And it was epic. Still to this day, if you watch my very first gameplay, I tried playing with this. And I died so many times. The distance and the depth in the gaps, they don't work out with me uh, for the analog sticks. So I still rock the D-pad and play with the D-pad just like in 1996. And for that, it's just so priceless. And the gameplay is still challenging. It feels, it feels like brand new. It's just remade the perfect way. Like I said, 16, 15 years ago. I gotta calculate. Sorry, I didn't take the time, but just an awesome job. I must say must buy, must own for any game collector a uh, very nice way and a good way to get a... If you never played it and you never experienced it and you're young and you weren't born in 1996 and you never played Crash, must own, must buy. It's quite a life-changing uh, 
experience franchise. It was it, 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 it broke boundaries back in the days, and it feels the same way bringing it back today. That's why that's that's what I feel about the game. The controls are the same, but the graphics looks way better, and it's still so frustrating. You almost want to break your remotes and don't do it. It's it's quite pricey these days. Back in the days, it was twenty bucks a controller, not bad. And now it's seventy five dollars. So I'm just saying that rage and intensity. Like if you watch the gameplay, last level I did, I must have died every. I had 12 slides and I lost them all. There's no problems with that. You keep getting better and better and you practice. Persistence is key in this game. It, it is still feels fresh back today in 2017. So I gotta say must own must buy. Great title and awesome job Activision and uh, Vicarious Vision of revamping a good old franchise and not changing anything. But the graphics! The gameplay is as tight as the first day, and I just love it. Good job.